Hello everyone and welcome back to APM Academy. In today's video, we are gonna go over all things tenant management. In the first portion of our video today, we'll be talking about how Bilbo J Baggins is going to get a roommate, Frodo B Baggins. In order to add a tenant to an exist tenant page, all you're simply gonna do is you're gonna to get to the tenant you wish to add another occupant to, identify the task on the right hand side, add additional tenant, you can, if they were on the same rental application, pull from their already rent, existing rental application, or you can select add manually. In this case, we'll add manually. And here you'll in, be asked to input the information. So, enter his name, his contact information, if applicable, his email, forwarding address. Here you can also set what type of tenant they are going to be, whether they're going to be resp financially responsible, another occupant or co-signer. And here you can also set their move-in date to correspond with the existing move-in date for the prior tenant. You can also choose to upload their file of their existing insurance. And you can manually add any screening information if you do need so. Once that information has been added and provided, we hit save and we now see that Bilbo has his roommate Frodo B. Baggins added to his tenant page. In order to send an email to activate their online portal so they can set up their recurring rental payments, all you would need to do is make sure first that they have an eligible email. Scroll down to their section that says online portal status and then click the blue box that says send portal activation invite. Once there, the tenants will receive an email that says activate your online portal. And from there, they will set up their portal through their Appfolio uh, URL provided to them in their email. It is there that they'll be able to then activate either a recurring monthly payment or choose to view their outstanding charges and make their payment from the portal via ACH. In the event that the tenant has decided to pay you with a physical check and you want to reflect their payment history, in this case, we will look at Bilbo and Frodo and their move-in charges of $5,100. On the tenant ledger here, we can see that it's $3,000 is a deposit and $2,100 is their first month's rent. In this event, we'll say that Bilbo has paid via a check and we received that check and cashed it into our trust account operating account. In order to reflect that payment, all we're going to do is we're going to go to tasks again, enter receipt, enter for the dollar amount that Bilbo had paid. In this case, we're going to say he paid both his deposit and um, his security deposit in one payment. And we'll say move in in the remarks, move in. Payment. And in the reference, this is where you can reference the actual check number that you cashed at the trust bank. So we'll say check 1344. It's like payment type as well. This is purely important for reporting purposes when you pull a deposit register report to see what type of transactions you guys are receiving. Other than that, it serves no real purpose. So if you guys want to use the report filters on the deposit register or the tenant receipt report, this is where you'll actually utilize this functionality. In this case, we'll say check to keep it consistent, and then cash account will leave as automatic. Now, once we've entered all this information, we can hit save. We will now see that their current balance is showing zero, and we have a deposit paid of $3,000. Now, upon entering the receipt, it is important to note that this is not the final step in fully realizing cash received at the bank level. There's one more step that we have to follow. So now we'll go back to the tenant ledger, click on the receipt we just entered, and then click the task, new bank deposit. On this, we're gonna look for our specific trust account, which was 1235 Yale Street, HOA in this example. Let's search. We now see our check that we've entered. And in order to reconcile your bank account in that folio, you will need to make sure that you select this receipt you entered and click make deposit. For the deposit date, I would highly encourage that you do it the date you physically see it clear the bank rec or on your bank statement. That way when you reconcile the transaction, it'll be easy to find and match one to one. 
Once we hit make a bit deposit, now we are complete with reflecting this cash that we've received at the bank from the check Bilbo Baggins sent to us. Thank you for watching APM Academy brought to you by APM Help. If you have questions on the content, you can find us at apmhelp.com or reach us at info at apmhelp.com. Like, share, and subscribe for more.